Now, it might sound silly, but tasting Australia is more than just about tasting. It's about getting all of your senses involved with food. Adelaide art teacher Ian Corbett uses a variety of techniques to create these deliciously vibrant works. They look like they could literally jump off the wall and onto a table. I love to paint food because of the rich textures, the variety of colours and the depth of field that you find in the presentation of the, the food. Technically it's a reasonably demanding exercise because a lot of the work is built up with layers of oil glazes which means you've got to spend a lot of time waiting for the first layer to dry, then you add the next layer. And that's what allows the richness and the lusciousness to come out in the work. When Ian first showed me a couple of pieces, I fell in love and I just knew they were right for Tasting Australia. They had to be part of it. And when you look around the room, you can see the whole exhibition is a feast for the eyes. When you combine culture and cuisine, the possibilities are endless. Here at the Art Gallery of South Australia, people have gathered to experience what can happen when fine art meets fine food. Masterpieces of the Kunawara is a great coming together, a partnership of food, of wine and art. Tonight, people will experience a private tour of the art gallery, uh, the wonderful cuisine, a three-course meal, and wines matched from the Kunawara region. It's so interesting when you look at food, art, and wine, there's never a rule book on how you might interpret it. What's brilliant about it is that you experience it. You use your senses, your smell, your taste, the way you see things, the texture of things. And you're the one that comes up with a conclusion. You're the one that works out what's interesting to you and how you think and feel. You're in the driver's seat to see and experience things, to take yourself on a journey of exploration, um, of pleasure and of intrigue. And that's what food and wine and art can deliver for you. It's an Adelaide icon and 8 million people visit every year to experience the sights, the sounds and the smells. When Tasting Australia and the market got together for a fine food forage, there were some happy foodies on board. You get your map and you take your map around and collect your six items. So it gets people to go to stores that they don't normally go to, to try products that they wouldn't probably normally buy. It's pretty good value actually. We've got a whole bunch of stuff in our tote bag. We've got meats from San Jose, a bottle of olive oil, salt. mushroom salt, and some the pate. pate. The great thing is, it's showcasing all local South Australian products. 